Chris, dude, you know what? It's <laughs> great content. I can't believe you actually have one, though. Yeah. We got it for Christmas. A long so, time ago. For those people who are listening to the audio, probably don't know what's happening right now. Oh, I did pull. I wasn't paying. I got 62. Well, 62, wow. I got the 62. <laughs> so Hunter, Hunter was playing his bop it. He actually just pulled one out of his closet. I don't know what's going again. Just like a uh, weirdo. Who owns a bop it? <laughs> uh, the best kind of people own a bop it. Sure. Sure. Um, I don't know why. Spider-Man... Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. He's just... I don't know. He seems relatable. He's, he's my, fun. He's my favorite... Well, that's why everybody loved him because he's a quirky kid who's yeah. shy and uses his abilities to be himself out in the open or whatever. That's why Stan wrote him that way because all the people that were reading comics at the time were that quirky, shy kid. Maybe so that's he was why just I feel writing like, to his readers. Yeah, maybe that's why I feel like kind of close to him. But also, he's very like acrobatic and yeah. fluid yeah. and fast jumpy and. and- he flows through the city and yeah it would just be i like that spider-man is different than like like you can say like your favorite hero is batman which don't i i fucking love batman i can't get enough <laughs> i thought you're gonna say you hate him no i, I fucking love batman i love batfleck <laughs> ben affleck my favorite live action batman i will fight you really? on that as well yes really you yes really yes why is that? I was never a huge fan of what is yours, Christopher Nolan, Christian Bale, Batman, your favorite? Well, no, I don't really have a favorite have Batman. A favorite. I I never really cared for Batman at all. Yeah. Um, but I would like, say Heath, I don't know. I would say Heath Ledger is my like, favorite live action Joker, probably because I that's the most I've been able to live with. I don't. I didn't understand. I understand a little bit of the hate for Jared Leto, but I think it's because we it didn't was get bad. To, it was bad, but I think it could have been <laughs> redeemed if we saw more, but we barely saw anything and what we saw wasn't yeah. great. I think if we saw what we more, saw wasn't yeah. What we saw wasn't the best of it. We saw the worst of it. I think you're right. Yeah. Like Snyder Cut has a little bit of Joker in there and it's completely different and it's I like it way more um than mm-hmm. what was in Suicide Squad or whatever, but that's neither here nor there. Back to Batman. Like, you could say your favorite hero is Batman. I wouldn't classify mm-hmm. Batman as a superhero because right. he's too much. He's too deranged and dark, which is why I love him because I love those dark stories and that more mature yeah. content compared to, like, quote unquote, poster boy, Eagle Scout Superman, which mm. can have some Dude, very I don't mature. Like, I don't like Superman. I like Superman when he's not just, like, godlike, all powerful has no problems then again i've i've read very little superman comics i've read more batman yeah. stuff and that's most of my knowledge is batman um, yeah i never really cared for superman i like superman when he's when he has complications like of human nature taking mm-hmm. his like quote his godlike form of this supernatural being but he has all these human problems Mm-hmm. And, like, these more character-based problems that are more the issues in, like, he has to fight this big evil thing. Like, when he has a mental problem or, like, situations or obstacles like that. That's, I think, where Superman shines. Yeah. I keep getting off topic because I love talking about Superman and Batman because I love Man of Steel as well. And I love Henry Cavill. And he needs to continue being Superman. But Warner Brothers Henry Cavill, I think he's a good Superman. All that up. He's great. You've seen Man of Steel, yeah? I think you said you yeah. have. I saw it back when I was still living in Hungary. This one? Yeah. Can't believe you just have that at hand. What about this one? Oh my gosh. What about BBS? I have never seen I've never seen You've any seen... Wonder Woman. I like... would say watch the first one. It's worth it. The second one is the second one like makes her a little baby. Dude. Like her power level but, and like her swag and her charm and like her badass in the first one is amazing. But then you watch Gal the second Gadot. one. 
Oh, she's Gal Gadot, she's, though. She's a beautiful woman. She was in the military. Absolutely. She was in the absolutely military. perfect. Yeah, she was. She yeah, was because like, it was like she's Israeli, right? Yeah, because it's mandatory, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, but it's like two years. Yeah, something like, like in that. Korea. I think she re did she re enlist or something after that? I don't know. I don't know, dude. Um, but have you seen BVS Batman vs Superman? <laughs> no. No. So you have to watch that before you watch your Wonder Woman movie, probably. Because she's in that. Yeah. So. Maybe yeah. we'll do that movie, and then I can get you to watch the Snyder Cut eventually. Oh, frick, dude. We don't have so to watch all four. Don't worry. We don't have to watch all four hours in one sitting, even though I would love to. Dude, so many movies that I'm, like, not caught up on. That's fine. That's what I'm here for. We never got to the point I was trying to make with what Spider-Man and Batman. You can Spider-Man say Batman. Batman is your favorite superhero, but nobody okay. wants to be Batman. You yeah. do not want to be the depressed... No. Lonely guy who's like fucked up in his head mm. and is just like there's so much wrong with him mentally and his whole life is a mess. You don't want to be yeah. that guy, but he's cool talking, to watch and he's cool. Talking about Batman. Yeah. Have you seen the animated one with Terry? With Terry? Terry, when Batman's older and then this guy named oh, Terry. Oh, you mean Batman, Batman Beyond? Batman. Batman Beyond. Yeah, Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond's great. I love Batman Beyond. Dude, like, Terry does not give a crap about the rules of being Batman. No. He kills people left and right. Like, yeah. they Batman, die. Hey, Batman kills people. Christopher Nolan Batman killed a whole bunch of people. Batfleck kills people too. Adam West killed people. He blew yeah, up he people has... with bombs. The crazy thing is, like, Batman has this code where it's just like, oh, don't kill. But Some iterations. He... Some comic, iterations? Mostly comic iterations. That's why people get like butt hurt. Like Ben Affleck, Batman killed all these people. He doesn't oh, have a code. Okay. So there's, it was like there's different was... versions that don't kill. Like the Ben Affleck version, um, he didn't kill at first, but then he lost Robin and he went downhill and he broke mm. and he started. He was deranged and he went crazy and that's why he wanted to kill Superman in BVS. Oh, wait, is Robin in the? The Batman, the Bat flick? No, he's he's already dead. He's already he died. Dead. Robin died. So there's like when... five versions of Robin. There's the first Robin, which becomes a Nightwing. Yes. There's the second Robin, that dies, and then is brought back to life and becomes Red Hood. Okay. There's the third Robin, Tim Drake, who is like the pretty boy, the one with the bow staff that you might see a lot. Yeah, um, and he's always so got like the Teen hood. Titans Robin. Yeah, yeah, kind no Teen Titans Robin. The original Teen Titans Robin was Dick Grayson. It was the first one that comes Nightwing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And there's Jason Todd, who's the second one who dies and becomes Red Hood. Um, who's basically Batman, but he uses guns. Mm. <laughs> he, he kills, and he's like he's kind of like a Deadpoolish, kind of like an anti-hero thing. Dude, Deadpool is so cool. Bro, I love Deadpool. Dude, Ryan there's... Reynolds playing Deadpool. I know. Oh my gosh, so good. I know. So good. But then there's a fourth Robin, mm-hmm. who is known as Carrie Kelly. She's a female. She's primarily known from the Dark Knight Returns series, hmm. which I would love for you to read one day. I have it. I could. I could let you borrow it, and we could talk about that because I think that's really interesting. And then okay. there's Damian Wayne, the most like recent son? Robin, which is his son. Yes. And he was raised by the League of Shadows, the people that trained him. But he was raised by them, so he uses a sword. And he's, mm. like, more of a ninja. Right. It's cool. Interesting. But the version that dies in Ben Affleck's version of Batman is the first Robin, Dick Grayson. Oh. So the first right. Robin dies, and that just sends him down a spiral immediately instead of the second one dying Dick Grayson was like the the poster child, like the best, like the the oldest, the eldest, mm-hmm. the best Robin. He's the most, like I don't know what to call it, but he's the one that dies in that version. So that's kind of what starts his spiral down into like more of a deranged Batman. He brands people. He's super like he's more scary. The cops are afraid of him still, um, and he kills. And he doesn't care for life anymore. 
He's just crazy pissed off. Um, and then Superman comes along and he thinks Superman can be a problem, so he wants to take him out. Nice. Yeah. So wait, so what is your favorite superhero at that point? Batman is my f- Batman is my favorite DC hero because I love the I love the dark the more mature side of things and I I've grew up more with Batman. Um bro, what about the Green Lantern, bro? What the heck? I never grew up, I grew up with <laughs> Batman. I grew up with Dude, I'm kidding. I know, I'm but kidding. I mean Green Lantern's cool if if you do him right. Um, he's, he's just don't tricky. do Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like, I love Flash too. Um, Dude, Flash is cool. Flash is just a powerhouse of a superpower. But like, dude, imagine how much money I could make, like delivering food, as the Flash. <laughs> what version of kidding. the Flash would you be? What? What version of the Flash would you be? Oh, I don't freaking know. Would you be the Wally West? Fast? Would you be Wally West? Would you be Barry Allen? Would you be Jay Garrick? I'm saying names you don't the understand. They're just different versions, like the multiverse stuff, like with probably um, Barry Allen. Yeah, the, OG. the one that's most recognized. The OG. Yeah, the one that's in the show on the CW. Mm-hmm. That horrible show. <laughs> Used to be great. First, like five seasons. Mwah, perfect, pristine, and then he be, and then the whole show was like, "Hey, let's not fight our villains. Let's talk them down emotionally, and <laughs> help them." And it's like, "That's let's not talk them down emotionally." Let's, I am the quote. I'm the paragon of love. I am the Flash. Oh. I will use my power of love to stop my enemies. And it's like, bro, just run fast and punch the people. That's all I care about. Wow. But run fast and punch the people. Run fast, punch the people. Be cool. Do cool slow mo stuff. Unless you're Ezra Miller Flash from Justice League, and then you're the best live-action version of Flash we've I've seen. Nice. It's cool. Yeah, he's a cool he's a cool version, I guess. Yeah, and that movie's um, coming out. They're filming right now his solo Flash movie. Oh, sick! Which has Ben Affleck Batman in it, and it has Michael Keaton Batman in it. Really? Yeah, because it has to do with time travel and multiverse. Oh. And it's got Bro, Supergirl. I, I Loki. I like this multiverse thing, but it makes things so complicated. It does. Because, like, Marvel has their own version of it, and DC has their own version of it. I know. It's kind of annoying. DC's version is, like, there's just multiple Earths. Like, there's mm-hmm. Earth 1, Earth 2, or whatever, and Infinity. Yeah. But then, like, Marvel's, like, the multiverse, which is one Earth that has different, like, a pie chart. Or not a pie chart. Um, like, a family tree of choices. And each mm-hmm. choice creates a different reality. Right. Uh, each reality comes off of which choice you make, whatever. So it's like an infinite number of different realities. But it's the same Earth. But all right, these choices right. make things different, like butterfly effect kind of thing. Okay, so just different realities as opposed to different worlds. Different, different worlds completely, yeah. Which is more of like, I think, what DC does. Because like, they have a whole world like where the Nazis won the war. Right. And, like, there's a whole but, thing about but that. But at the same time, that's, like, just a different reality. Yeah, but, point. like, their explanation of it is, like, the only real difference. Oh. I I mean, that's, like, the biggest... That's the easiest way to explain it. It's just how they both diverge into how it works. Yeah. But, like... For sure. DC one-offs are, like, the best... Like, the animated movies are great. Um, Dark Knight Returns animated movies. You should watch those. If you don't want to read the comics, you can watch those. Mm, there's two of them, two parts it's really good it's got the voice of robocop as batman who's the voice of robocop um peter weller i want to say i don't know who that is i've never well. seen yeah robocop. peter weller the original robocop it's just like his voice is very recognizable <clears throat> if you knew it um how do we get here we were talking about spider-man so like what yes, you love about? Spider-Man. What were we talking about? Hey, you love Spider-Man, <laughs> so you would love to be Spider-Man cuz that's just fun. The same thing like yeah. being Flash or being Superman would be fun, but being Batman, yeah, he's cool, he's a badass. He's got some great video games and some great animated series, but you don't want to be Batman. Yeah. But he's really cool to read and watch and play. Um Spider-Man games too are great. The newest one? Dude. Insomniac. Bro. Insomniac is great. 
Ratchet and Clank? They just released the new Ratchet and Clank. Ooh, did they? Mm-hmm. Dude, I honestly, I love Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet My favorite and... games ever growing up. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Ooh. It's a sequel to the... They, like, rebooted it a couple years ago. Um, redid everything. Oh, the first oh yeah, one the really first good. one? Yeah. The first one of, like, the rebooted series. It was really good. And this one apparently is fantastic as well. But I don't have Ooh. a PS5 yet, and I don't want to buy it on PS4 <sighs> and have a downgraded version. I'll just wait till I get a PS5, like I did with yeah. Miles Morales. I have the freaking disc just sitting right. right here on my desk, waiting for the day that I get the Dang. game. No, that you get the console. Yeah, the console. Yeah. Frick, dude. That's so, a big old ripperino. It's not because um, I'll get it. I yeah. have confidence that I'll get it eventually when it becomes more readily available. <laughs> Just like three years from now? <laughs> I mean, there's no other real like exclusive game. Besides that and Ratchet and Clank, there's like nothing right now that's like super exclusive for mm -hmm. PlayStation. Like I can get everything else from Xbox on PC because I have Windows. I can yeah. play everything there on Steam or Epic or Battle.net. Um, Dude. I just got. I just finally got the new Call of Duty Cold War. I never grabbed it at first. I would get a PS5 just to get the Ratchet and Clank games. Just yeah. get all of the Ratchet and Clank games. Do you games. have four hundred dollars if you want a uh, digital version, or five hundred dollars if you want a version that can use discs? Yeah, no, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. You're gonna borrow mine. Get a console. You're gonna borrow mine. I'm not actually gonna. Yeah, maybe I'll borrow yours. You're gonna borrow mine. Yeah, I'll I'll buy some games and then I'll hey, just Hey, we can you... rent out that theater and play the Spider-Man right. game. We could play the Spider-Man game. <gasps> yeah, that would be a sick game to play in a theater though. Dude, imagine? Yeah. I mean even the How would you even the... do that though? There's a way to do it. I don't know like what theaters can do it though, but like you rent out a theater, you have to bring the console and they probably just set it up where they yeah, do the projections. Yeah, of course you need the Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. There's exceptions, or there's, I don't know how it works, but I know people have done that before plenty of times. People have done that in stadiums, wow. like up on the big jumbotrons. They put like NFL or whatever they're playing in the stadium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen a few people. That's do kind that. of insane. Yeah. Wait, so what were we talking about? I don't know. What were we talking about, dude? You don't remember? No. We we're talking about Spider Man. <gasps> spider who? Spider you? Spider all of us? Spider me? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So Go. today's episode is into the Spider Verse. Before you say that, you must say, "Welcome everybody to the What Were We Talking About podcast, episode, episode nine. nine, nine. Ugh. Correct. <laughs> Are you, you're not gonna. I'm letting you do this one because you were trying to take the reins. So go right ahead, sir. I wasn't trying to take the reins. I was kind of like trying to like you insinuate know, me to start it. No, no, we we kind of fifty fifty it. Yeah. Okay, so episode nine with your host Hunter Lop and Hi. Mark Krajan. Hi. <laughs> hey. This is going so great so far. Yeah, I think it's just you know we gotta we gotta ease into it's it. It's four twenty. Kind of We're you fine. Know what I'm talking about? It's fine. It's four twenty. Hey, is it? Blaze it. Yep. Sick, dude. Whoa. <sighs> so, we just watched Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Yes, we did. And it was freaking amazing. It was beautiful. Everything you, about you it had was not fantastic. seen it. I had seen it. Okay. Probably like Hunter's all. Seen probably it like all he's the. Seen every movie. He's seen every movie ever. Not every created. movie. Not yet. Um, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. But yeah, your first time watching it. I loved how one? I was gonna say it's your first time watching it, and I loved how Theo walked in while we were watching. And he's like, oh, "You've never seen it." I know, right? Like, <laughs> like has he seen it? <laughs> I Maybe. would assume as much. I mean, I'm yeah, assuming that you saw it. Well, you seem pretty jazzed about it, so I assume you loved Dude, it. This movie 
had me hooked the entire time. Yeah. From the beginning to the end, like the intro, just the intro alone, like the the intro sequence. Oh, with was the, insane. With the all the flashes and the the pages yeah, all the and flashes, all that. like it. It was just and the it music. Was an epic intro sequence. And then, um, you know, there was there was the art style overall is this really unique. I don't even know how to describe it. It's but it's comic pages in 3D because it, it has yeah. that that old school yeah. page print style with all the circles or whatever. That's exactly how I describe yeah. it. And I know that this is not a recent film. Like 20 How old is it? It's like um, 19? Uh 2018. Let me see here. Yeah, 2018. 2018. 2018. Holy crap. Dude. 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. I didn't know. I'm it was so that high. late to the game. But yeah. Yeah, this Okay, so the the film, let's see. The animation flawless. Like honestly, I don't know how they did any of it cuz it's insane. The animation is so good. Um I love all the color and the the style is so unique and distinct. That comic book page style, like you were saying, yeah, 3D. Um, and then also, I just love the 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 background music. Like fit was so well. Like it was just, I loved the atmosphere. Like you you felt so immersed in the whole entire thing the entire time. And then, dude, this freaking movie tugged at your heartstrings. I know I was. We can get to it later, but I looked over a couple of times and I saw you a little red in the face and like he's blinking a lot. Dude, I was tearing up. I, was I know, I know what part you're talking about. Well, we can we can get to it later. Um, I want to stick with animation since that's the first thing you brought up. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite character design from the movie? Yes. Yeah, I would probably say Prowler. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, one because he's purple, and then two because he was he was kind of badass, and he had the claws. Yeah, he was cool, but he he didn't do all that much. No, nah. but he served a different purpose. Yeah, that was a different purpose. But Doc Ock, like she, she was very cool in the sense that her her like octopus limbs actually looked like they were like tentacles. Like not like the, the original Spider Man series where they had Doc Ock and his were like all mechanical. Yeah. Hers were kind of like alive, you know. Well, it's it's just a different version of the multiverse yeah. version of Doc Ock because if you in the opening, yeah, they show that Coca Cola is called Coca Soda with a K. Yeah. So we're already not in quote unquote Earth. Prime or whatever the heck the Earth whatever they call it in Marvel I don't know. Yeah, what whatever it is, but like, what I'm trying to get at is the design of yeah. that character specifically. Yeah, they were like um, weird, as a po- they were like rubber or like silicone. Whatever. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. What I was thinking was like some sort of silicone. Silicone, um, but it was cool because they were like really fluid and kind of like snakes, and yeah, I really liked that about her design was how it felt like they were kind of just like they were almost like like Mr. Fantastic's like arms like how they can just like stretch and like yeah because they, they have more fluidity compared to the mechanical ones. Yeah. yeah they were very fluid and I love fluid things you're not very liquid right now yeah I'm not very <laughs> liquid right now I love I love the jokes man the jokes in this film were funny too yeah that's like, great that's all um Jason No, it's not Jason. I'm completely wrong. It's Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson. Who plays Peter B. Parker. He is yeah. a hilarious man. For those who don't know the name. I only know this because of a friend. He's in New Girl. Yeah. I know who he show. is. Yeah, I don't New Girl. I don't like watch any of his stuff though. Yeah. He's he's pretty funny. Um there's another movie <clears throat> um that I want you to watch next that he's yeah, that he's in. It's really great. Um, a topic for another time. But right. the animation thing that I was struggling to remember, <clears throat> I wanted to look it up to make sure I was right. Um, I don't know how well you noticed it. Be- 
because it was being streamed over Discord. But if you watch the beginning of the movie, um, when Miles first gets his powers, all the way up even to like when they meet Gwen in the forest mm-hmm. or whatever, his animation is at 12 frames a second. Oh, is it? Yeah. So he's he automatically would look more clunky and like laggy. And the reason yeah. was for that because he's not fully equipped with his powers and doesn't know what he's doing still. Mm. But then by the end of the movie, his frame rate goes back up to 24. So he moves, he moves fluid and he looks like he knows what he's doing compared to the beginning. Oh, wow. So if, if, you, you, have, actually... if you really look, you can see he, he does lag a bit, especially in when he's learning to swing. If you look at him can... compared to the other Peter, you can notice a little bit of the jaggedness. I feel like I feel like I can I can yeah. thinking back now I can see that yeah you know because I after he did kind of like shift into Spider Man yeah like he actually became Spider-Man. he looked like he was moving a lot quicker and like just more well rounded yeah. animation dude I love his suit too yeah by the, the spray way paint. his suit is sick yeah it's just the Spider Man suit and then black sprayed on black top of everything red. yeah cool cool suit um. I prefer, I like the um, the cover up when he's got the hoodie on and the yeah, shorts. Yeah, I like that too. It's and cool. And he's got the Jordans. I gotta bring in shoes. Those shoes. Um, they did a partnership with the movie, and no they way. created a, a shoes just like that. And it has that 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 um like not f- that filter of it of the comic book page style, like all the little circles. Oh, crazy! That's on the red of the shoe. That's actually yeah. dope. They're really cool. But by the time I figured out that they were real, you could not get them anywhere. <laughs> wow. They were we're just they were them. swooped up. They're they're pretty much like a Chicago. Just the red overlay. Yeah. You saw you watched the movie. Yeah. Except the bottom has like, like that clear on it in this version. I think they're called Origin Story. Is the version Origin of the shoe? Story. I think that's what the shoe's called. That's a cool name, though. Yeah. And it makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, so the style and the animation of everything, like, it was... It's crisp. It was crisp. It's crisp. It was one of the coolest animations I've seen in a long yeah. time. Yeah. Um, I think they, they're top-notch. Like, I haven't seen anything like this. Yeah. It's really cool. It's really cool. If you, if you really look, like, even... Spider-Man Noir in black and white, even like his shading and his yeah, his filter on top of him is a little more catered to his his time earlier than than this version of the of like the comics. Yeah. And then yeah. if you look at Penny, the the anime one, she's 2D. Yeah. She's not 3D. Yeah. And the the I think the robot is 2d for the most part or they're more so flat and then the lips do the same thing where it's just it doesn't match completely yeah yeah where it's more of 2d animation style but you barely notice it yeah unless you're really looking dude when they brought freaking when they brought those three extra ones in there i was expecting like some cool looking spider ones (laughs) but they were so lame like well, Spider-Man Noir fights Nazis. I don't know how lame that is. Well, okay, he was the cool one. Yeah, he was the only cool Nicholas one. The, but the other two were kind of lame. Well, yeah, I mean, you I know? don't I don't know anything about Penny Parker, the anime one, but I do know about Spider-Noir and I do know about Spider-Ham. Are those actually real? Yeah, I know those two are. I don't know anything about if Penny Parker is or whatever the anime one. I have no idea. But the other two are, yeah. They have a spider ham. That's spider actually ham. He is a he is a spider that was bitten by a radioactive pig. That's kind of insane. Yeah. And That's then the other one is just though. a version of Spider Man that grew up during World War Two. Yeah. And he fights Nazis and he carries a gun. That's sick. At least in the one of the renditions, he's got a yeah. really cool suit. But in this one, he kind of just has the trench coat. Yeah. Um, but if you look up Spider Noir, like the suit. 
it's like 40s clothing all like black leather and he's got goggles it's really cool i'm looking it up yeah yeah spider noir yo yeah he's cool that's kind of crazy yeah <sighs> that's dope yeah it's gotta be hot in that thing though 100 black dude. leather that dude's that dude's just a got boots full of sweat to drain out of his suit Goodness. I don't know if he's ever taken off his. I don't know if I've ever seen him with his mask off. I I would think he probably has. But I've never seen a comic of him with his mask off. But then again, I haven't read <coughs> any Spider Noir comics. Um, a lot of the pictures are not showing his mask off. So initially, like going into it. I thought, oh, okay, Spider-Man, well, spoilers, Spider-Man dies in the beginning. <laughs> a Spider-Man, voiced by Chris a... Pine. Oh, really? Yeah, that was Chris Pine. Nice. Yeah. So Spider-Man, he dies. Um, I literally thought it was the same voice for Spider-Man. They sound very similar. They do. But if you listen um, close enough, Chris Pine's a little more, maybe like, I don't know, yeah, I can just tell. If you pay so my, That's probably uh, why they got the same voice. Thought, or probably those two, because they have similar voices, because they're technically both Peter. So. Yeah. At a different my age, My thought too. was that after Spider-Man died, the one in Miles' reality, then he was going to go into a different into universe, another universe and try and bring one out. Act. But actually, the exact opposite happened, where it's like some from other universes came to Miles' universe. Yeah. And I was just like, oh. Interesting. Yeah, and Gwen didn't come out when the collider exploded. She was shot out two weeks before. So that's why she was at the school before he got his yeah. powers and all that. Yeah. Because they were testing it. Because they were testing it multiple times. Yeah. So like Yeah, but multiple... she didn't she didn't pop out. She technically wouldn't have popped out until when Green Goblin pushed him into the collider when they were fighting. Remember that? When they're fighting, the collider's going off, and then he gets pushed into like to the big beam, and then like he sees right, the multiverse. Totally right. That's how it knows. Why would a Spider-Man? Pull. Yeah, because it needs like the DNA or whatever to to grab them. But so she right. was just shot to two weeks before for some odd reason. That's so weird. And the other three yeah, that, that they don't really say they could have been shot out at different times too. Yeah. yeah. See, I didn't even think about that. I I thought maybe that they were testing it. And then just, like, for whatever reason, like, a Spider-Man from another universe yeah. came, like, because of that, yeah. you know? Yeah. But that makes a lot more sense that the DNA from the Spider-Man, when he put his face in there, mm, yeah. yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I think it's because they wanted to get Gwen in there early, but they needed a yeah. retcon to, like, why is she here early if it doesn't have a... Oh, I was pushed out two weeks early. There's your retcon. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's like it it's fine. technically it works. doesn't make any sense. I'm not gonna like, question it... I'm not gonna question the physics or capability of a super collider, a thing that doesn't exist. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well we have um well, we have the Hadron Collider. Um which is Yeah, but does that pull people it, from no, other dimensions it in? <laughs> it doesn't. What we have it? the large Hadron Collider. It's the the world's largest and highest energy par- particle collider and it's in it's around geneva anyways um isn't that where the princess diaries takes place geneva I think so <laughs> yeah princess of geneva is that right mm-hmm something like that i have to look it up now but yeah no, our, ours is nothing like that at all. No. And, uh... Oh, no, it's not Geneva. It's Genovia. Genovia. Which I think is a... F- mm. Is that a fake place? I'm or pretty is... sure that is a fake place, yes. 
Yeah. Maybe they just pronounce Geneva a different way. No. I don't, I don't know. Who, who, whatever. Princess Diaries is yeah, not it's a, a different. Movie. It's a different universe. We should watch Princess Diaries. <laughs> Let's do it. No, I have other movies first. I'll put it on the list. Why um, not? I'll put one and two on the list. That's wait, got Chris Princess Pine Diary. as well. Am I thinking about the right? Anne Hathaway. Princess Diary. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 okay. And then Chris Pine is in the second, or is he in the first? I don't know. What's the one? Which one? No, what's the one with uh, Andre the Giant? Oh, um. The Princess Bride? Princess Bride. Yeah, Princess Bride. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a good movie. It is a good movie. Yeah. I haven't watched it in a long time. I haven't either. It's been years. But, yeah. The movie was sick. Um, What else was cool in it? Well, you were going to talk Uncle. Oh, yeah. I was going to talk about his uncle. Uncle Aaron. So, the uncle, the uncle always the, dies. I, I liked the yeah, that was interesting too. Well, the uncle always dies. Why is it the uncle? Because Uncle Ben, yeah, dies. So every iteration of Spider Man has some sort of Uncle Ben die, unless it's the anime one, which it was her dad. Mm hmm. So, so yeah, that was cool because the uncle and the dad were like contrasting characters and. Then you find out that, oh, there really are contrasting characters, you know, where the uncle, he turns out to be Prowler. And it's crazy because you see Prowler's like shadow in one scene and then like Miles is writing the note and then it's just like, oh, did he find him? And then it's just like, no, he was actually just coming home. And I was like, oh, what if that was actually his uncle? You know? Yeah, you said it out loud. You're like. Oh, maybe that yo, that'd be crazy if that was his uncle. And I'm like trying yeah. not to react. Dude, because I, I mean I, knew, I know I knew as soon as I said that, yeah, that I was I was right. Yeah. Like I knew I was right. I mean like, I there was no you know, way that Prowler yeah. just like found him. I mean like, he wouldn't have known. him, but whatever. Doesn't matter. But um if yeah. if you know Spider Man <laughs> lore, you know that Miles' uncle is Prowler. But obviously you didn't okay. know that. I did not know that. And I don't think I did I not knew, look into this. I don't think I knew that um, when the movie came out either. But I mean, based off of just how the movie was progressing, and it was like, oh, I'm gone for a few weeks. And then he shows up. And yeah. I'm like, that's probably him. And I was, See, I was right. I just thought. Actually, no, I, I just did thought know he wasn't that. picking up his phone. Yeah. Well, his message said, I'll be out of town for a few weeks or whatever. Yeah, but I just thought that was his like message, anyways. Like. Nah, just he's 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 he's, he's that a really way. cool Anyways, kind of he's, he's a really like, cool kind of guy to where he changes his voicemail based on what he's doing. So he's out of town, he changes it. So like when <laughs> I'm at a baseball game, I'll call you tomorrow. Right? Imagine he changes it like every <laughs> you just situation, it every day. Yeah, every event he's going to, he changes his voicemail. Gosh, so that's a whole bunch saved. But yeah, and then when he gets shot, dude, that was like. That was so unnecessary. Bless you. Thank you. I mean, unnes- yeah, I don't know if unnecessary is the right word, because that's it's ne- It was necessary for. If he didn't get shot, his dad wouldn't have gone to his dorm and given him the speech, that he needed to, to spark his. Right. Ability I understand that, but like, why did Kingpin shoot him? Because he I mean, saw him he let him go. Of weakness. No, because he saw him let him go. And that was the kid that ruined the collider at the beginning. Yeah. Because I always said, kill that I guy. Guess. Just yeah, real, I guess, just I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. kill that guy. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So. And he but had the goober. I, I'm guessing he showed signs of weakness, so he's just like, nope. We don't well, yeah, no he's, on our team. he's he's a kingpin. He's he's like you. You're not gonna do what I tell you. You're done. Yeah, you work for me. Exactly, dude. Okay, can we talk about how wide he was? Bro, how he was, was a he dude. Such... Was a box. He was literally a box. He's great. Like, he's, a, he's a black box 
with his in his suit, and then he's got a little tiny head that's like way too far down because it looks like his shoulders would be like. So he has much. no neck. Yeah, he yeah, he's all shoulders. Mm-hmm. And his head's like and where his chest would are be above his head. Yeah, and his, yeah, his head's his head is where like his chest would be. And then like he, he all the family photos that they were flashing at, like with him and his kid, and, and like he's like in this tight like sweater, and he's just like hobbled behind them. And mm-hmm. I was like. How did that child come to be? I don't know, dude. Hey. That was that must have been an interesting <laughs> night. <laughs> there's like, one point when they go in, like when he, they arrive at the lab at the very beginning, and Miles is watching, and then Kingpin arrives, and he has to go through the door, but he has to go through the door sideways because he's so large. Oh yeah. Yeah. He he has he's like if you look, like, he's like off to the side when I think Miles is like swinging over or like running over the side. And like Kingpin, like turns, like shuffles in sideways, and then gets back to normal when he's inside, because he's so no large. Way. And they don't even acknowledge it. It's great. That was in the movie. Yeah. I did not see that. Yeah, there's when yeah there's that? a scene where he has to tuck sideways to get through the door. But when was that? It was early on. It's I think it's I think it was with when the lab when they were at the lab. Oh, interesting. I can I can try and find, I'll pull it up. Try and find it again. Um. <gasps> Excuse me. Um. Oh, and when when Gwen 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 right Gwen Gwen Stacy Peter Parker's first love, in like yes. prime timeline. Yeah. So Gwen, she, when she was in the lab, like when they were, uh, getting Doc Ock's computer, she was in the lab. And I thought, I thought she was evil. I thought she was one of the bad guys because she was working there. But she you, was just you in did disguise. go oh yeah. And I'm like, oh, he just realized it's the same chick. But like, oh, okay, <laughs> I never would think that. But that's because See, I know yeah. she looks like Gwen. So in my mind, I'm already like, oh yeah, it's a Gwen Stacy. She's she's following the yeah, trail. Yeah, because she said okay, she said Gwanda. Well, because she said <laughs> she said Gwen. She started to say Gwen. But she didn't yeah. want to because she wasn't where she was supposed to be. So she didn't want to yeah. say her name in case there was another Gwen, probably. Yeah. Or whatever reason. Yeah. yeah. She I knew I knew she was Gwen. I knew she wasn't a Gwanda. <laughs> I knew she wasn't Gwanda. Yeah. I knew she was Gwen, but I didn't understand like her role. Yeah. Because I didn't I didn't realize that she she was like the spider woman. Yeah. You know? And when she, she, she talked about the scene of like her friend dying, that was from the second or was it the first, it might've been the second Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movie where, yeah, where he, if you have a question about any Andrew Garfield movie, you could ask me because I love that man and I love those Spider-Man movies. But you remember like when, when, um. At the end of, I think it was the second one when he was fighting Electro. Yes, right. When she dies. When she dies, when he like shoots he, his he web. He does the web, and the web turns into a hand, and it goes through everything. And it just it it didn't reach her in time. No, it grabs her, but the slack catches up too late. Right. And she smacks right. her head. That's what I'm saying. Which like, is she died. That's but less that... violent than the comic. You know how it happened in the comic? How? It was similar. Green Goblin dropped her off of a bridge. And he goes to web grab her, but he grabs her neck and she breaks her neck. Oh, sick! Yeah. Dang, dude. It's great. Wow, <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah. I would feel so bad. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I would. Holy crap! If I did that, like if I was Spider Man and I did that to my woman, I would, I would be depressed. Yeah. But okay, so when she was talking about, oh, my friend died. It was literally Peter Parker. It was Peter, yeah. They just Well, she says my friend out. Peter Parker. Yeah. But swapped out the roles. So that scene, that same scene. You know? There was also something else if you noticed. She was fighting a monster and then the monster turned back into a human. Yeah, it was the lizard because one. Because this version of Peter Parker became the lizard. What? Yeah. Whoa. Because if you look, like, she's fighting the lizard, the shadow, but then it morphs back into Peter, and he's on the ground, and he dies. 
Oh, I don't know. So she ki- she I killed Peter. Well, no, she just kicked him, and then he felt. I don't know. There, I don't know if there's an actual version in the comic books where Peter turns into the lizard. Because if not, then there's no other information on it, unless like the creators of the movie have said something. But it could have just been like he was infected somehow or something, and he was. It was like probably like a Hulk situation, where he had to fight thought- it. I don't know. No, because I thought I thought she was just explaining her story, like she was fighting bad guys and stuff, and then like her friend, like no, maybe, she was fu- she I, was fighting Peter. Was she? Yeah, because Peter was the lizard. I could pull up that scene too if you want to make sure. Yeah, let's let's watch that. Yeah, okay, let me get to it. Oh, I'm right here. Cool. The one and only. Oh, oh, also, um. She is voiced by Haley Steinfeld. Yes. I pretty love lady. her as well. She's pretty. Yeah, there it is. Okay. She's got a nice voice too. She's got a, she's got a nice a lot of things. Mm. <laughs> I'm smiling, audio listeners, and raising my mm-hmm. eyebrows. Okay, I keep missing it. It's right here. Okay. All right. Um, screen share to that, and then we're gonna go here. If you, it's really quick, but watch the shadow; it morphs into a person. And there's the bullet saving the father right here. Boom, and it's a person. And if you look at Peter, he has scales all over him. Oh. Yeah, it yeah. did look kind of weird when yeah. he had he the has scales. Yeah, he has like, like kind of like scale stuff all over him. Interesting. Yep. Cuz okay, cuz when she kicked him, it looked like a different area, you know? Yeah. Like w- the scene from when she kicked him and he like morphed back into a human and mm-hmm. then going to the next scene where he's like on the ground dead. Yeah. Well, it, he lands in like a, a different, different position. No, it it didn't even not that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the atmosphere. Like it looked like they were in a sewer in the first part and then in the second part it looked like they were kind of like around a, an electrical plant or some sort of yeah. electrical thing. I don't know, I couldn't tell you. That's that's kind of that's actually the reason why I thought it might have been that electro scene yeah. from the other Spider Man. Yeah. But just like kind of like an homage to that. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Dang what it. else? What I'm else trying, is cool? I'm really trying to find that spot. I thought it was right there. Maybe it's farther in. Dang, where is this bit? Is it right here when he goes into the hotel? Do they watch him go in and he shrugs in sideways? I swear I saw this. Oh, you're still looking for that? Yeah, I didn't even I've, realize. Been, I've been scrubbing. Gosh, where is this? I'm pretty sure. Does he go in Maybe sideways? Maybe confusing you with something else. No, I swear this is a thing. This has to be in here. I just wondered if we could have some more bread. I'm so sorry. I couldn't get you your bread. Oh, dude. <laughs> when he when he did that, that was so sad. That was so sad. I wasn't there when you needed bread. Yeah. <laughs> he was, like, pouring his heart out. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, dude. But then he did it. He did it. He went they back need me. Like, I don't think they actually mean you, man. I know, right? <laughs> oh, dude, that was a funny ass joke. I was cracking up at that joke. It was a small joke, but it was funny. There's a lot of those in here, just like little little jabs that work really well. Really good writing. Oh, dude, that and at the end, that little Easter egg of him, like going to that scene in like '67. Oh, with um, funny. Miguel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, because that's the. The infamous pointing meme. Yes. Yeah. I s- I swear this is in the movie. Oh, dude! And then when he did the Tobey Maguire Spider Man move, where he like stopped <laughs> like, the we train. We don't we don't talk about that. Okay, but and but like, dance, I dude, noticed yeah. it. I know. No, I'm it. talking about the dance. Oh yeah, oh, the stopping the, the train. Yeah, that's where Spider Man two, and then and then Spider Man and three, no, there's right? another one too when, he when the they're dance. at. Yeah, there's another one too there when they're eating the dinner and then he turns around and he punches the car. 
Remember that one? Yeah. Yeah. That's Spider-Man 2 as well because him and MJ were eating and then like Doc Ock was attacking. I don't know if he threw it. I can't remember, but like he, it was like a, like that sure same shot. It, it, but it was like a slow-mo to get out of the way. I don't think he punched it back because he wasn't in yeah, his no, suit. Yeah, no, he didn't punch it back. Yeah, because he wasn't in his suit. Um, yeah, and when he was doing that dancing, he's like, oh, yeah, and then this happened, and, and he this. was just like, hey. We don't yay. talk about this much. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that. Gosh, this is really bugging me. Cause and then Stanley's appearance, and then, you know? Yeah. Was, I think this and was... all the other costumes, too, were kind of sick, dude. Oh, you mean in, like, in the spider cave? In the spider cave, yeah. Immediately, I was just like, oh, Batman's cave, you know? Yeah. I mean, it pretty much was a bat cave um, with the spider car. Mm-hmm. The Jeep. <laughs> yeah, that can drive on walls. Oh, can it? I think so. I think that's what makes it spider-like. Otherwise, it'd be useless. Um, I'm not gonna keep looking for this scene. You're gonna have to take my word for yeah, it. Yeah, you don't have to. I don't think you're gonna find it. I know it's in there. I don't want to be. Yeah, in the beginning when he, he mentioned like all the all the things that he did, he's just like, Oh, I created a Christmas album and then I got like a an ice cream. I've looked I've looked worse or I've I looked got better. A so so popsicle. Yeah. To be honest, I've looked worse. Or whatever he says. And then the version from the other Peter. He's like, I save the city, I saved the city again, maybe a little too much. Men mm-hmm. like through some mild depression. My buried Aunt May and me and my wife split up. And then handling it totally well or whatever. And then he's crying. And right. And he's just like <laughs> depressed. And With like sad fat. piano music. It's like, when why are you a different shape? Is that you calling me fat? Are you calling me fat? Mm-hmm. Sweatpants, really? Dude, and the Green Goblin was so drastically different from any yeah. Green Goblin I've ever seen. Yeah, not the the glider in the suit. Yeah. Had wings like an and actual he was humongous. Green goblin. He was humongous. Yeah, he was an actual goblin. That's not what goblins actually look like, though. Yeah, but it was like, he was a goblin. He was a morph. He was a goblin. He was a goblin. A hey, New York Green Goblin. I think it's a Banksy. In December. Okay, so it released a month after Stanley died. So that's why that thing. At, that's why the thing at the end was there with this quote in the sunglasses. Yeah, rest yeah. in peace. Yeah. One of his one of his best cameos. It always yeah. fits eventually. No refunds. Wink. No refunds now or ever. Wink. <laughs> Never. <sighs> You want to talk about the the soundtrack? Dude, the soundtrack was dope. Because there's the soundtrack I mean, and then there's the score. Mm. But the soundtrack is probably more like noticeable. Well, the soundtrack was dope. The soundtrack's more noticeable. I mean, they yeah. had a they had a bunch of cool artists on there. Yeah. Not that I could name all of them. Probably could name only like two. But. Well, I told you, one of them. Yeah. yeah. The sunflower song. Okay. No, then I told you two. Else? I told you this, but well, Juice World is on one of the tracks, and then I think yeah, Lil I Wayne's Juice's on voice. one of them. I was I wasn't sure. I was like, wait, this is Juice, right? Yeah, because I haven't I haven't listened to a Juice song in forever. Yeah. Well, there are no more. So. Re- well, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Because it's not often you get a superhero movie with so many, like, artists to create a soundtrack. Like you get soundtrack albums for movies, like Black Panther did it. Um, like they had all these artists make an album, but like the songs weren't really in the movie. They were just made for the movie. Like they were in the credits Mm -hmm. or like they were in the opening title or whatever. But like most of these songs are in the movie and some, I think I'm pretty sure Sunflower was made for the movie. Yeah. I want to say, yes, it was. Yeah, because the official music video is is um, the movie. So I am correct. Nice. Yeah, it's a good song. 
It oh my gosh. What? It has one billion nine million and sixty five six hundred and thirty thousand and sixty eight plays. Wow, that's a lot. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, Jaden's on here. Um, Nicki Minaj is on here. Mm-hmm. That's the the Spanish one at the beginning. Spanish. I don't know if it's Spanish or not. The I don't know. Um. This one. Nope, not that one. This one. I remember I saw you. I saw you vibing in this one when the movie started because that's when like he's jumping around, putting the stickers up on his way to school. Dude. Before yeah, the trips beginning on his of the movie had me hooked. Then... Like this whole movie had me hooked. Like I would honestly, I would watch it again. Well, we can watch it again right now, and Let's you do can it. find all the little bits. Uh, Denzel Curry, Triple X, Tentacion, or whatever the heck it is. X X Tentacion. Tentacion. That's how you say it. I always want to say Triple X Tension. No, he's Vince, not an extension cord. Vince Staples. Um, yeah, there's Juice on Hyde. Someone named Amine. Oh, Amine? Amine? Dude, he's freaking amazing. I love Invincible? him. What song was he on? Invincible. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, Amine is great. Yeah. Oof. I, don't, I don't think I have the... I was going to get the vinyl for this. I don't know why I didn't. Um, I don't know if they had the the soundtrack available for it or not, but that that's like what the movie starts and it's immediately like that. I don't know how you describe that. The um the opening like credits thing where it's all flashy and like um seizure inducing. Yeah. It goes so crazy. Yeah, that intro sequence like kind of hurt my eyes for a second. <laughs> what did you think of like Miles's journey as a character to a hero? Um, I feel like his training was kind of rushed, to be honest. Well, there wasn't much. Like there he... wasn't really any training. There was That's a little what I'm bit. Saying. Yeah. It's like he was just kind of Oh, oh, and then I know like you know, he went back to go um to look at the spider and then he's just like it was a normal spider, it was a normal spider. And then he immediately gets thrown into this huge battle between Spider Man and Green Goblin. Like what kind of it's it's like you know you know the thing it's called like Deus Ex Makuna? No, no, no. It's a yeah, it is. So, something yeah, that's what something it is. like Deus Ex, it's where Deus Ex it's like the right thing, or the 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 most. What is it? It's I know like what you the mean. Outcome, the it's outcome. It's like the most expect, expect the most expected happen. thing happens all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how you write. That's um like. What's the word for it? That's like um. That's how you like you, fix, plot holes. Or you move the yeah. story along when it can't just be, like, super complicated. It's like, we need to get here and here and here. How does it happen? Like that. Oh, that's convenient. That's what it is. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um. But, like, I mean, they seed it in the beginning because when they go to do the art on the on the wall or whatever in the subway, the uncle says, yeah. oh, I've done some work down here. Because that's because he asks, how did you find this spot? Oh. He's like, oh, I've done some work down here before. So, oh, so that's because he was dude, I he's done some work. Realize that. That's how he, he gets down to the collider because he's Prowler. That's how he was helping because he probably went yeah. that same way. So he knew of the spot. So that's why the spider was in that area because the collider was in that area. So it was when they were doing all the testing. Maybe oh. that spider came through. I don't know how the spider because they were in a lab area probably down there. So there's probably a spider down there. Oh. Um, or something like that. Um, 
so he was already uh, close to was, the collider, the so they were fighting. What was the significance of the number 42 on this bike? 42, there is a significance to that in the comics. I don't Are know if 42 it's... Spider-Mans? No, I, I don't know. Maybe it's... um. I don't know if it's like the comic book number. Um, but it shows up a couple times. Um, when he first tries to jump off the building... And then he doesn't like it, so he goes to the slower building or the lower building. Uh huh. And then when he falls, was... he hits like a sign, and the numbers four and two fall next to him. But I know there's a reason for it, and I think it's I know it's probably um, comic oriented. Oh, I thought it was a comic reason. What is it? Let me look up comics. Um, oh, I thought it was always like um, something that was a part of like Miles Morales. Like the 42 had something to do with that. But I guess it was the animators, the creators of the movie did it um, for Jackie Robinson. For who? Jackie Robinson, the baseball player. Oh. Why? Because Miles was like a like a breakthrough character for black heroes. Just how Jackie Robinson was a breakthrough uh, baseball player. So I guess it, it was just a like an honorable reference. Oh, to nice. Jackie Robinson. That's another movie. I want you to watch. It's 42. What is that? It's the Jackie Robinson story starring Chadwick Boseman, also known as the Black Panther. Rest in peace. Rest in peace as well. <laughs> Gosh. That's my fa- that's my favorite role um that he's done. The Jackie Robinson. It's great. Really? I mean, sure I don't really I care it. about a baseball movie though. Okay. So, it's not I mean, really can... a baseball movie is the thing. You don't, the baseball is like the background of the story. It's about his story and like the, all the Mm -hmm. racial politics and all that stuff. We could watch it. Yeah. Add it to the list. Yeah. The giant list of movies. There's a a list. There's a list. Um, We might have like a few movies in a row in the next couple weeks. Dude, I'm down. Because Black Widow does come out on Friday. Ooh. If you want to do a relevant movie, finally. We, we could do a relevant movie. That would be sick. like people would actually be <laughs> be able to have some input on that isn't so old that neither of us yeah. have seen. Yeah, we're yeah. just watching old movies over here. Yeah. And then the week after that will be Steve Jobs because of my final Ooh. my final movie. Ooh, Steve Jobs. Yeah, Steve let's do Jobs. Steve. Well, of Jobs. course we're going to do Steve Jobs. Um, um, but yeah, it comes out Friday. I wish we released on like Sundays because then we could watch it Friday record and then that would be for this week and then we don't have to wait a week the movie would already be out for a week by then but it probably still Whatever. it's a Marvel movie it'll probably still be hot and people will probably still be talking about it so yeah of course I mean just because it's a week later <laughs> yeah but I, I don't know I was I was thinking of trying to stay relevant on something for once that well, would be I mean, more topical yeah or more like yeah, relevant and topical to what's happening in the world instead of just It'll still random tangent stuff. Yeah, I know, but I'm just, just that was just later. me thinking, yeah. It's a Marvel movie. It'll last for another month because that's the only one they have till like November. What's in November? Uh, Spider-Man? I thought Spider-Man was coming out in December. Is it December? I looked it up, yeah. My dog is hacking up a lung. What are you doing? Hey. Come here. He's an old man. You can't see. Is it? So it is December. And they still haven't dropped a trailer for it either. Ooh. I want to watch. I don't know if I've. Have I seen Homecoming? I don't know if I've seen Homecoming. I don't even know if I've seen any of the Spider-Man movies. Okay. I, I have seen Homecoming. I think I remember watching it. Yeah. I mean... It's the one with Vulture, right? Yeah, Michael Keaton. Yeah. 
He's the only good part about that movie. <laughs> Fight me. Just don't. Marvel stands. The movie is not that great. And neither is the I, sequel. I don't even remember any of it. It must not have been that good if I don't remember any of it. I mean, it's a it's a Marvel carbon copy of every other Marvel movie. That's I why I'm not that. a fan of it. I get really, like, specific about Spider-Man movies. Like, Dude, it needs to feel okay. like a Spider-Man movie. Spider-Verse feels something. like a Spider-Man movie. It has that that flair, that, 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 that has a character. Swag. It has the swag. <laughs> it has that hero's journey story, usually. The MCU Spider-Man doesn't have any of that. Anyways, um... That has nothing to do with the Spider-Verse. Um, <laughs> but we can talk about more MCU next week um, when we go see Black Widow. Yes. You, you wanna, next yes. week. Black Widow next week. It's coming out this Friday? Yeah. Uh, or tomorrow if we see a later evening screening. Ooh. Whichever works better for you. We I might mean... get a better crowd on the screening nights because you, you get the MCU fans, so you get a good crowd. Yeah, but I'm not going to be talking to the crowd. Yeah, but you don't get the crowds of, like, the families or, like, the older people. I that see what you're annoying. saying. These people love these movies, so they go super late, and they're quiet, and they watch it. They'll laugh if it's funny. Yeah. Or they'll clap if it's somebody they love. They'll be I into it. That. Yeah. If they're, they're passionate it, about it. People that just, like, mumble or ask random questions. Yeah. Or, like, have a family that is eating so much popcorn and they're so loud. Dude, that's annoying. I, Dude, I am like sneaking scary. snacks. I am sneaking snacks in for sure. I mean, I always do. You can just put stuff in your pockets. No one cares. They don't yeah, check. You know, the city checks bags. Um, Regal doesn't check. I walked into Regal. I saw Fast and Furious on 4th of July. Um, The new one. Mm -hmm. It's a Fast and Furious movie. I think Family. it was better than the last one. If you turn your brain off and don't think about physics or any of that, it's a great movie. It's fun. It, it makes you think about family, right? Um, most important thing ever. Heck yeah, dude. Shot your shotgun's ready, Vin. Um, but it's like, that theater was empty. Really? And then one, like, older couple came in, like, like, middle-aged couple came in, and they sat in the row directly behind me. Why mm. did it have to be the row behind me? Bro. That I chose? And they <laughs> were yapping and, like, asking questions and talking to each dude, other. Dude, like, that's annoying. I would, sit, I would just constantly go... <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think they, they cared. Quiet. No, they I... would quiet after that. And oh, they really? They would eventually understood because they were right behind me. So I would look over and give them a little bit of a glare. Ooh, a little stink eye. <laughs> and they would stop. I've, Ooh. I've, I've, I've talked during during movies before where people have been just constantly talking. Where I would turn around and I would say, "That's enough," or I'll like, I'll, I'll tell people that you need to, okay, dude, this is it. You need to stop, and they'll stop because they get called out and they. <laughs> they get scared. Dang, like, dude! Teams, like on their phones. Oh like, my gosh! Behind me, I don't care. If you're in the row in front of me and your light is glaring in my own face, yeah, I I'll reach down and I'll be like, "Who are you texting?" No. I see you're texting. Um, is that Angela? Angela. <laughs> It'll be okay if you don't. Is it Gwanda? Because like you could, yeah, it's Gwanda. Because you could <laughs> you know they're doing. I'm like, hey, you want to stop texting? A Angela, okay, I mean they'll stop because they they get freaked out. But I take movies very seriously. I get very mad when people. Yeah, I mean I would be pissed too. It's like, hey, I'm paying. What I'm is paying it like, fifteen bucks? No, nah, it's like eleven. Eleven bucks, okay. Eight bucks, but plus like all the tax and all that. Like, yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. But like when I went to see Fast Nine, this was talking about sneaking snacks in. I walked right into the theater. Mm -hmm. Nobody got to my ticket. Nobody asked any questions. I walked into the front door and back around into my theater and nobody asked me a single question about my ticket or nothing. I could have walked in for free wow. if I didn't buy my ticket ahead of time. That's crazy. That's only regal. Cinema's like super strict. Like we tried to like sneak in and out in through the side door and they saw us. Oh, so so where which one are we going to go to? I don't know. We can go to one that's like in between both of us, but we'll figure it out. That doesn't matter. Ooh. Okay. I do have a I do have a gift card to Regal which I would like to use Ooh. instead of buying another ticket when I have one of those. There so might be everywhere. There might so be no, one Edwards somewhere close. Yeah, it's Edwards that's regal, so we'll figure oh. it out. Yeah. Rambling. 
Um, we, we are. So we, are. we will see you guys next week. This has been next episode week. nine. Episode uh, nine. Into the Spider Verse. We'll be talking about podcasts. We talked about many things. We talked about superheroes, and I gushed over Batman, and then we talked about Spider Verse, and we're gonna go see Black Widow, and then we'll talk about it next week. And lots of can... lots of spiders. You lots know, spiders. Black yeah. Widow, Spider Verse, like all these different spider hams. You know, like. Don't get me started on Scarlett Johansson. Oh my gosh, bro, you need to relax. Oh, we can talk Keep about it in it your next. pants. We can talk about it next week, and we will. <laughs> okay, we will see you then. All right, ciao. Adios. Oh,